Purdue. And it's a team that, again, lost some of its core, but it returns Zach Eady, who could be one of the best post players in the country. Robbie, what are we going to see from this Purdue team? Are they a contender for the Big Ten title? Yeah, I think they will be right there. And now that it depends on their guard play. But if we start with the front court, there might not be a team. I don't think there's a team in the Big Ten, maybe not even in college basketball. It's going to have the depth at the four and the five that Purdue is going to have with Zach Eady, Caleb First, Mason Gillis, and Trey Coffin Wren. Uh, that's four really, really good players. The question marks, though, for the team are, are the backcourt. Is Brandon Newman a guy that can maybe get back to his freshman year form where he's making shots, defending? The point guard position is. Totally in flux. You know, Braden Smith, I know they're really high on him, but he's a freshman. David Jenkins transfers in from Utah. I think Fletcher Lawyer is going to play a lot at the two. Um, so they're going to depend on two freshmen in, in that backcourt. Boy. That's going to be – that That makes – that, that puts a question mark on you. But with that front court, it, it does give you a chance. You can throw it to Zach Eady, and you can get baskets. Jeff is a, is being a it's hater. It's a guards right? game. Like you're not winning with with. <laughs> it's a guards game, and they're and it's a bigs league this year. What we're talking about the Big Ten, are we not? I still think the difference. What did the almanac say? Listen, I know the almanac. Listen, <laughs> who wrote the, I got almanac. the almanac? What did right the here? almanac say? It it's says. A big uh, the year of the big, the yeah, year the of the paper, paper copy. You got the paper copy. To say and I if you want to buy it, own. it's in the link in bio below here on the YouTube oh, channel. Right. It took a full, a full toner cartridge to print this baby <laughs> out. All right, full toner, like seventy five. So do you not even believe what you write, or like I've read Listen, some crap, and all you're I'm like, saying, you're telling me about how we don't have any guards. Well, all you've written about is bigs. You're gonna play two guards, two freshman guards together. But they've got Ethan Morton out there, Brandon Newman. I'm not saying all the time. Uh, Ethan Morton's a, a solid player. Brandon Newman can be a, a solid piece. I I think Purdue is going to have a good year, honestly. Jeff, when was the last time Purdue had like an elite point guard though? Um, I don't. It, uh, uh, Lewis Jackson. Lewis Jackson. He wasn't player. elite, but he was he was a good, really good college player. Really good. Player. I mean, I, I mean, they haven't. Really he made he made guard. Robbie Hummel who he is basically. I, I, I had, would agree. You're not they old they enough. Had, point guard in the in the. Like, last recent years and you know yeah. they've still managed to be at the top of the league almost every year yeah right? I no, think I, that, listen in painter i trust that's yeah. what i will say all after, after all this shit now we're gonna hear in <laughs> painter i trust oh I, my I do God. goodman no, did listen. set him as the best x's and o's coach in the big 10 in the almanac that's true 100 percent. well absolutely. he believe he, he actually believes half of the shit he writes good job <laughs> Jeff. you're 50 percent. that's terrific listen all i know is i will pay uh Zachy, I'll pay you, Rob. I will pay you two hundred dollars if you try. If we go down in practice and you try one on one to guard Zachy, two hundred dollars. I'm thirty three years old. Why I'll would I subject myself? Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars for a thousand. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> it and we will live stream it. We don't need a, a, a third I gotta see that. from Rob. I got to see that. I got to see. The good news is, if you can't move or jump, it's really hard to blow your knee out. <laughs> <laughs> These are, these are good health tips from Robbie Hummel. Yes. The one thing I love about Matt Painter is that he takes so much pride in recruiting players that want to stay in college for three or four years. And I think that's been a formula for success for him, which is not something that's necessarily shown to be super successful in college basketball as a whole, because this truly is the era of one and dones. But yet he's found success recruiting and developing players. And Jeff, how hard is it to find, I mean, with this generation now, people who are patient enough to go to a school, develop, work on their game and stay patient for their time to come? Yeah, I mean, there was a reason he didn't get Nigel Pack, right? He got outbid for him for 400 grand a year uh, by Miami. That's Matt Painter. He's not going to give on uh, his principles. He's not. He, he, and he's not going to get away from the players that have made Purdue and him successful. That's the one thing I always respect about Matt Painter. Pike goes the same way. Those guys are they're, they're ball coaches at their core, and there's no bullshit about them. And, and, and that's what you got to love about both of them. They're going to be straight shooters. I, I think both those guys a, are, are sorry, Joe. Go ahead. Go ahead, Joe. I was, was going to say I have a ton of respect for Coach Painter. I think even just from like an outside perspective, you can just tell that he truly cares about the guys. And you know, I feel like he's every year he's going to get the best out of his team. Like every year, you know what you're going to get from Purdue. You're going to get convoluted plays and then a big man down low where you're going to find him. And and you know, obviously Zach Eady right now is one of the best returning players. I think he's he's going to be a beast down low and. Any of those guys, Brandon Newman, Ethan Morin, one of those guys is going to be the one coming off, you know, three down ball, three ball screens, three, uh, three down screens. 
And uh, right, no, seriously though, they have like yeah. they have like fifty different plays. I remember I used to. I would always try to be the guy to like call out the other team's plays. I would call it out. Coach Painter would be looking at me laughing. He's like, you don't know what we're running right now. You're like, absolutely right. I have no idea what you guys are running. I'm still going to call it out. Uh, you know, but that's what they're going to have. Right. So as long as those guys are making shots, they're going to get open. They're going to get open looks. So it's just up to them. They're going to make shots. And then Zach Eadie's obviously going to be a beast. The problem, Gio, is they have counters to the counters to the counters. Yeah, like, and they just, they, they set it up like that, which is what I, makes it I so hard it. to, to see. Hey, I, I think, quick, though, quick really quick, Jeff, it, ahead, with, with Peichel and with Coach Painter, yeah. both those guys, and, and Coach Peichel, I think, is, has become this as the success has grown, but you become so much more confident in yourself as a coach and comfortable in your own skin to say, this is the type of player that I need to win. And I, I think Coach Paint has really found that. It's, it's pretty amazing that other than Tom Izzo, he's now the second longest tenured coach and has been in the league since 05. And that, that's... That's pretty wild that he is yeah. approaching 20 years of coaching in the Big Ten. But I, I think that he is as confident in what he needs and what he does as he's ever been in his in his coaching career. And that's why he gets guys that fit, and that's why he wins. 